OpenAI's CEO and CPO, both executives at the highest levels, just dropped the top strategies to keep your job in the AI-driven global market. This comes at a time when there's massive AI investment worldwide. At home, you have Microsoft, Oracle, Google and Nvidia to names in China like Alibaba investing over $50 billion, pumping the AI gravy train forward. But how do we, as individuals, stay ahead in this new world? Can we even compete with AI anymore? Their message is clear, the age of outrunning AI is over. But that doesn't mean humans are obsolete, it just means we need to rethink how we approach learning careers and problem solving. Sam Altman, a man at the forefront of artificial intelligence, made a striking statement during a Q&A session at the University of Tokyo. You will not outrun the AI on raw horsepower. That's over. That's probably over this year. Let that sink in. The era of competing with AI on tasks requiring sheer processing power, whether it's complex math, coding, or even creative problem solving, is coming to an end. AI is just too fast, too efficient. It doesn't get tired, it doesn't take breaks, and it learns at an exponential rate all the things that humans can lack. Altman compared this to the invention of the calculator. Once calculators became mainstream, nobody wasted time trying to do long division manually, they just used the tool. Similarly, today's AI tools like ChatGPT and DALLE are doing things that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. So what does this mean for me and you? If we can't beat AI in brute force problem solving, what can we do? This is where Kevin Weil, OpenAI's chief product officer, offers an essential perspective. He says the key to staying relevant isn't trying to outperform AI, it's about learning to work with it. His advice is simple, but profound. Start using these tools. Start incorporating them into the way that you work, into the way that you study. When you're doing something new, ask yourself, is there a way that AI could help me do this faster? Think about it. The people who will thrive in this new era aren't necessarily the ones with the most technical knowledge, but those who know how to leverage AI effectively. For example, if you're a writer using AI to draft and refine ideas can make your work more efficient. If you're a developer, AI-powered coding assistants can help you debug faster. If you're an entrepreneur, AI can generate market research reports in minutes. The secret source isn't replacing yourself with AI, it's amplifying your abilities with AI. One of the biggest concerns about AI is its impact on jobs. Will AI take over our careers? Are we all doomed to be replaced? Altman has an interesting take on this. He acknowledges that AI will change many jobs, but he reassures us that human work isn't disappearing, it's evolving. He said, That does more to help poor people than rich people, frankly. I think there will be way more jobs on the other side of this technological revolution. I'm not a believer that this is the end of work at all. History backs this up. When automation transformed agriculture, people feared mass unemployment. But instead of eliminating work, technology created new industries from manufacturing to IT to digital marketing. The same is happening with AI. Kevin Weil adds to this, explaining that companies succeeding in the AI era are the ones that see AI as an advantage, not a threat. He states, the best positioned companies are those that see the technology as a potential boost rather than a competitor. Take Microsoft, for instance. Microsoft has fully integrated AI across its products rather than seeing it as a threat. They've invested billions in OpenAI, incorporating AI into Microsoft 365 Copilot, GitHub Copilot, and Azure AI services. Instead of fearing AI replacing software developers, Microsoft uses AI to empower them. Another example is Adobe. Instead of fearing AI replacing designers, they introduced Adobe Firefly, an AI-powered creative tool that enhances design workflows in Photoshop, Illustrator, and Premiere Pro. In this way, AI doesn't replace designers. Instead, it supercharges their creativity. If we look at more mainstream platforms, Amazon uses AI in multiple ways. Personalized recommendations, Alexa voice assistant, and automated warehouses. Their logistics and fulfillment centers use AI-powered robots alongside humans, improving efficiency rather than eliminating workers. The same goes for Netflix and Spotify. 
Both companies use AI to personalize recommendations, ensuring users stay engaged. Rather than having AI replacing human creativity, these platforms use AI to enhance user experiences. So instead of fearing AI, the smartest move is to embrace it. The future workforce won't be AI versus humans. It'll be AI-powered humans outpacing those who resist change. If AI is reshaping jobs, what skills should we focus on? Sam Altman emphasizes creativity, adaptability, and problem solving. While AI is incredible at executing tasks, it still lacks human intuition, emotional intelligence, and a deep understanding of culture and human desires. He pointed out, the most valuable thing you can do is figure out what people want. This means skills like storytelling, emotional intelligence, and critical thinking are more important than ever. In his recent blog post titled Three Observations, Sam Altman also delved into the transformative potential of artificial general intelligence, AGI, and its anticipated impact on society and the economy. His third observation addressed the relationship between AI intelligence and its socioeconomic impact. He asserted that even linear enhancements in AI intelligence can yield super exponential benefits for society. This implies that as AI systems become more intelligent, their contributions to economic growth and societal advancement will expand at an accelerating rate. Consequently, he anticipates sustained and exponentially increasing investments in AI development, driven by the substantial returns and transformative potential associated with advanced AI capabilities. Building upon these observations, he introduced the concept of AI agents, functioning as real but relatively junior virtual co-workers. According to him, AI agents are capable of performing tasks comparable to those handled by a software engineer with a few years of experience, particularly for assignments requiring up to a couple of days to complete. And while these agents may not generate groundbreaking ideas and will necessitate considerable human supervision, they can effectively augment human productivity. Altman encouraged readers to imagine the scalability of such AI agents, not just one, but thousands or even millions, operating concurrently across various fields of knowledge work. This could lead to a paradigm shift in how work is conducted, with AI agents handling routine tasks and humans focusing on more complex creative and strategic endeavors. Drawing parallels to historical technological advancements, Altman compared the potential impact of AI to that of the transistor. Just as the transistor revolutionized multiple industries and became an important component in countless devices, AI is poised to permeate various sectors, driving innovation and efficiency. However, Altman acknowledged that such transformations will not occur instantaneously. In the short term, Daily life may continue much as it has, but the undercurrents of change will be undeniable, leading to profound long-term shifts in society and the economy. As AI systems take on more tasks, the ability to make informed decisions, navigate change, and maintain determination will become increasingly valuable. AGI, in Altman's view, will serve as a powerful tool amplifying human will and potential, enabling individuals to achieve greater impact than ever before. Kevin Weil's advice, start integrating AI into your workflow now. He suggests forming the habit of asking, is there a way that AI could help me do this faster? By constantly thinking this way, you train yourself to see AI as a tool rather than a threat. Soft proofing your skills is simple. Learn how to use AI tools. Whether it's ChatGPT, MidJourney, or AI-driven analytics, understanding these tools will give you an edge in the rapidly developing technological landscape of today. And let's be real. Soft skills like communication, empathy, and leadership are irreplaceable by AI. They're what make us human, and no artificial intelligence can grasp such characteristics. Remember to think like an entrepreneur. AI is creating new business opportunities. Learn to spot gaps in the market and use AI to build solutions, instead of being overwhelmed by its rapid advancement. And even if you're not in tech, understanding how AI works and how to use it strategically will set you apart. AI isn't just a tool, 
It's a force that will shape society. That means we have a responsibility to ensure it's used ethically. Bias in AI is a real issue. Because AI learns from human data, it can inherit biases from society. This means we need people working in AI who are conscious of these risks and committed to fairness. Transparency is another challenge. If AI is making decisions that impact people's lives, whether it's approving loans or diagnosing medical conditions, we need to understand how those decisions are made. That's why one of the most valuable careers of the future might not just be AI engineering, but AI ethics, AI policy, and AI governance. So where does this leave us? The reality is AI is here to stay. Trying to fight it or ignore it is like refusing to use the internet in the 2000s, you'll only fall behind. But by embracing AI, learning how to collaborate with it and focusing on what makes us uniquely human, creativity, empathy, vision, we can carve out a future where technology doesn't replace us, but empowers us. As Sam Altman and Kevin Weil have made clear, the future isn't about outrunning AI. It's about running with it. What will you do? Will you resist change or will you adapt and thrive? The choice is yours.